Hello, Goldtim users. Today we are going to learn how to organize your model using container elements. Once you start modeling larger systems, you may find your models to become crowded with a lot of elements. One way to deal with this is to group items using graphical tools. This is helpful, but there is a better way. As you would organize your directory with folders, you can organize your goal to models using containers. This particular model is a simulation of a lake. Let's zoom in to see elements better. These four elements in this rectangle are related to stochastic precipitation. We'll put these elements in a container. To do this, you first insert a container element by right-clicking and choosing a container element. Let's name this stochastic precipitation. There are a lot of neat features that we can do with containers, such as making containers to be looping or conditional, but we will learn about these tricks in later videos. Select all the elements you want to put in the container and drag them into it. Now the four elements are in stochastic precipitation container. I have created a couple more containers to make the model look like this. We can go further by creating layers of containers as well. Let's put all the inflow elements including containers into another container. Insert a container and name this inflow. After selecting elements, this time instead of dragging elements into the container, we'll use the Move to option in the context menu by right-clicking the selected element, clicking Move to and selecting the inflow container from the browser. By using containers to organize the model, we can make the model much simpler. Let's take a look at the browser view window. If you don't see it on your screen, you can click on this button to show or hide the window. You can also use F6 key on your keyboard. Clicking on the plus sign let you see the details on the tree. To go inside the container, you can click on the plus sign of the container icon. You can find in which layer of containers that you are in by container path. On the browser view window, the currently selected element will have a gray background. You can navigate models with containers in a couple of different ways. Buttons at the top of the graphic pane allow you to go one layer up, go to the top layer, go forward and go back. Alternatively, you can navigate by clicking on elements on the browser view window. It takes you to the layer of container that the element is in. Lastly, I would like to point out about the influence arrows. We've seen that Goldtim automatically draws influence arrows between related elements. Containers are no exception. As you move into containers, you can still see the influence from and to elements outside the container, indicated by the borders on the port of element icons. Using containers can help you organize your model in a hierarchical and logical way. If you would like to learn more about containers, you can check the online help or contact us at support at